When using the glove box or bringing something into it, please note, refill is when this handle down here is in the orientation shown, closed and evacuate. Your first thing to do is to check your pressure, the water, and the oxygen sensor levels. And you're gonna write these down in the log book. You're also gonna write down the time of which you have come in and the date. Before using the glove box, you will have the circulation on and you wanna turn on the vacuum pump. Always use the pen. If you're gonna be entering into the chamber, then go ahead and turn on the box light. This illuminates the chamber. Now that your pump is on, you can pull vacuum or you can expose it to argon. Okay? You want to come over and you want to look at the argon tank and ensure that this argon tank is above this last mark. This last red mark here is when I will be changing out tanks. If it is near this, above, or on the line, please let me know. I will change out the tank or keep a close watch on it and change it the next day. <clears throat> Please only let me change tanks for the time being. I will train you guys as we go on. <clears throat> we need a new AAA battery for this, but this timer does work and it will be used for this, for what I'm about to show you. When bringing something into this, into this antechamber, you need to look at this pressure gauge. This is your best friend. When you open it to argon, the pressure will increase to the maximum that's shown here. At this time, you can open up this by, op by uh, releasing the valve and opening the door. You can slide out the tray, place your sample in, and you will close and lock. Then you want to immediately pull vacuum. And this first vacuum pull will be for 20 minutes. You're going to pull 20 minutes, and then you're going to open it to argon. So I'll show you what that looks like. Let's say 20 minutes have passed. We're then going to pull this, twist this over to argon. <clears throat> and when we twist this to argon, we're going to let it go back up. And we're not going to let this sit for any amount of time. We're just going to pull it back to vacuum again. Now we're going to go 20 more minutes. Set the timer, set a timer on your watch, set a timer on your phone, whatever you need to do. Come back in 20 minutes, and then you're going to release it to argon again. And after you flip it to argon, you're going to flip it back down to vacuum, and you're going to let it sit for 10 minutes. So the sequence goes 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes. After which, you will turn this to uh, argon, because you need, no you need the pressure to be atmospheric pressure level, or whatever we set the box to. So you turn this to argon, and then you can reach into this glove box slowly. As you reach in, right, you can hear that this is pulling vacuum. It's pulling vacuum because this thing is being told to stabilize below five, below five millibar and above 2.5. So it's, it's a narrow window that makes us sensitive. So you want to step onto this left pedal, which is decreased pressure, as you slide your arms in here. Now, before going into the glove box, you need to remove your anything on your wrists. We can't have bracelets, we can't have watches, you need to take them off. You put on a pair of nitrile gloves, and after you put on a pair of nitrile gloves, you put on a pair of cotton gloves. These cotton gloves make it infinitely easier to uh, put your arms into the glove box. It is important that you wear a lab coat because your arms will stick to these otherwise, to these, uh, to these gloves. Um, and we don't want that, right? You want to be able to slide right in there. That's why we use cotton gloves on top as well. And when you're working in the glove box, when this is not under vacuum, you can pull this lever, swing the door open, pull the tray out, grab your stuff quickly, bring it in, and then shut the door and hit lock it shut. For the duration of your time in the glove box, the vacuum and the circulation should be on. If you're working with a liquid, you're going to turn off circulation for the duration of your time in the glove box. When you're done working the glove box, you will go to purge the glove box only if you use a liquid. Okay? Go to the purging video in order to see how that is done. <clears throat> when you are done in the glove box, you will put your items back into this. You open a door again, put your items in, seal the door behind it, and then you can pull your arms out of the glove box. You will open the chamber from this side, 
right? This will be under back, this will be under argon at this point, right? You open a chamber from this side, take your stuff out, immediately shut it quickly, right? And pull vacuum again. When exiting the glove box, you want to have this reach down to the lowest value shown on the on the on the scale here. So what I do at this point is I throw it under vacuum, I grab my stuff, I bring it to my fume hood, and then I come back over here because by that point you're usually good. So the glove box isn't in use anymore. We're done with this. You're gonna turn this to the closed position. Why? Because this is how we know if this is under vacuum, or if, the, if these seals are still good or if they're not good. It's also our barrier between atmosphere and argon. So now that the pressure's all the way down to zero, I have it in the closed position. That means vacuum isn't pooling anymore. We can go ahead and turn this off. Vacuum pump off. Pressure doesn't change. Give it a thumbs up. That's a good job. We're going to turn off the box light as well. And now, this is how we leave it. The circulation should always be on unless we are handling a liquid. Again, circulation is always turned on unless handling a liquid. Go to the uh, purging video in order to understand this further, but never touch circulation otherwise.